Hey, what's going on, everybody? Yep, it's that time again. It's Friday. Hey, you know what? Honda. I love my Honda. You know I love my Honda. I've got one in the garage. But I tell you what, Honda confirmed coming U.S. 100%. Yeah, the Honda Trail 125 coming up next. <laughs> Hey, what's happening? What's going on, everybody? Joe, 690 ADV. Thanks for stopping in. Happy Friday. Hopefully this week was good. I was going to do the bike. Little too weathery today. <laughs> Everything changed. It was super, super nice. And then it just, boom, the bottom dropped out of it. So I'm not going to do a ride today. So I'm in the 690 studios, actually sitting where I do most of my podcasting and stuff like that. So it makes it kind of nice because now I've kind of changed the format. It allows me to come in here and actually still do my videos. Anyway, tonight we're going to talk about the 2021 Honda Trail 125. It is confirmed. It's coming to the United States. But before that, I got a couple things I want to get out. Don't forget hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget 690ADV at gmail.com. Hit me up anytime. If you're a new rider or any questions or anything like that, I'll be more than happy to help you out. Don't forget, we have a new Facebook page. It's for everybody. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to grow over time. It's going to be really great for new riders, experienced riders. So we need both in there. So if you haven't, go to Facebook, look up new dual sport adventure riders, join it's pretty much instant guaranteed to be part of it we kick out anybody that's a troll or anybody that is a know-it-all but it's basically to help everybody out don't forget facebook new dual sport riders new dual sport adventure riders anyway the honda trail 125 we did the super cub which we said was a great apocalypse bike but that bike right there that's not coming to the U.S. That's basically going to be only overseas. But in 2021, it's 100% confirmed. We're going to get the 125. It's based on that Cub series, but we're getting a couple of extra added features I think are better than the Super Cub. It's got more modern electronics. It's got ABS, emission controls. Not only that, they've added a little bit more clearance to that bike than the Super Cub which makes it what more off-road ready, which I think is really fantastic. Cause that's really what it's all about. Is this a dual sport bike? Eh, sort of not really, but you can do the off-road and you can get it on the road with that bike. You can transport it. You used to see these things back in the day and you still kind of see some of the older ones on the back of RVs and stuff like that. So you can move these things anywhere all over the country. If you're leaving with your wife, your kids, anything like that, you can just haul this thing up, take it out, Go have a little fun, start checking everything out across the country. Whenever you get to where you're going, you go to a little town, you're like, you saw some dirt roads, you just offload that bad boy. It's really a pretty cool bike. What they've done on this one, which is really nice, they basically changed the steering head on that thing on the triple clamp, which they made it a whole lot more stronger than the Super Cub which is nice because it's basically, like I said, they've made this more off-road oriented so you can actually beat it up a little bit and it's actually going to hold up over time when you're riding off-road. Cool thing, turning radius. They've given it 45 degrees. If you don't know much about turning radiuses, my 690 turns like garbage. You better know how to use throttle, lean, and brake to actually turn in tight spots. And at 45 degrees, I'm telling you, this thing, you can basically spin this thing around almost on a single track. They've also thought about the exhaust and the intake. They've raised it up so that that thing can actually go over water, maybe small water crossings. I'm not going to say you're going to want to cross a river on this thing, but at the end of the day, they did raise it up. You look at the pictures on screen. Yeah, it's going to be able to do a little bit of that type of stuff. Bash plate comes standard out of the gate, which is real nice. It's going to protect that basically the bottom side of the engine. So that way you don't destroy stuff. It, they really did think about this thing um, being off road, which is really, really cool. Now, this is one of the things I thought was really cool. I don't know if it's true. Or not. They're saying a claim of 158 miles to the gallon on that thing. This thing has roughly about 0.4 to a half a gallon more than the super cub, which basically means this bike right here, 200 miles to a fill up. That's a pretty long way. You can get out and see a lot of stuff at 200 miles on a fill up. And if it's really only around about two gallons or a gallon and a half, What's that going to cost you? 
three bucks. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty smoking deal. That's really, really cool. And you're not going to win any races with this bike. 8.7 horsepower, but this bike will get out and it will do the business of what you want to do. And it's super, super cool. And it's super, super fun. Put some knobbies on this tire, on this bike. And I tell you what, the 217 inches, it'll be a lot of fun. And you can actually hit those dirt roads and hit some of those little light single tracks. You're not going to do hill climbing or any of that type of stuff, but it is going to be a whole lot of fun. Semiotic, four speed. There's no clutch on this thing. Super easy for everybody. New riders, experienced riders, whoever. If you don't know what a semi-automatic basically engine is, it basically means that you roll on the throttle, back off the throttle, kick it up and down in between your gears. And I tell you what, it's super easy, easy to ride. It's like those old little small dirt bikes you used to ride when you were a kid. And if you've never ridden one, this is for everybody. You, your wife, your kids, whoever, anybody can ride this thing. Electric start, kick start, perfect. Kill your battery, kick it off. If not, go ahead and just keep using the electric start. That makes it super nice. I thought of both sides of the ball, which is really, really nice. Best part, MSRP, $38.99. Super cheap. Almost anybody can afford one of those things. That means you could basically, you could probably pick up two, one for you and your wife, get out and see the stuff. Bike, super, super cool. So at the end of the day, the Honda, 2021 trail it is coming to the u.s and it is a really super cool bike i think everybody could probably have one of these and have a blast with one of these i know i'm going to get my bashers but at the end of the day don't really care so don't forget hit the subscribe button give us a thumbs up make sure you're part of it don't forget about our facebook uh group be part of that too new dual sport adventure riders go sign up we need everybody so be part of that hey you know what give this 2021 honda trail 125 a look you might actually think about getting one and have a lot of fun and get out and do whatever. It's for everybody, college students, kids, whatever, your wife. It's really pretty cool, and it's pretty cheap. Hey, I'm Joe. You guys have a fantastic weekend. 690, out.